Hello everyone, I am Sibendra Singh. Today I am going to discuss a subjective question number 146 of test of mathematics at the 10 plus 2 level prepared by ISI. This is a question from continuity and differentiability. Here it is given that f is a function such that f takes only positive values for all uh, x belongs to real number and f dash x is continuous at every x belongs to real. Uh, also it is given that f dash t is greater than equals to square root f t for all t. Then we need to show this for all x greater than equals to 1. So let's begin. We have f dash t is greater than equals to the square root of f t for all t belongs to real number. Since this is a positive quantity, so this thing is always defined. Now, we can divide uh, this by square root of f t as this is a positive number, so which is greater than 1 for all t belongs to real number. So we integrate this thing f dash t by square root of f t t t is greater than one times t t. Now the derivative is from one to x. We choose things this way. So now put y is equal to f t, then d by is equal to f dash t t t. Correct. So this thing becomes one. So f12, fx, and here this is dy by root y, right? Uh, by substituting the values here, so this is greater than this integration, right? It's greater than integration of 1 to x, 1 times 3t. So this is very simple t from 1 to x which is x minus 1 right so this will be 2 root y from y takes the values from f1 to fx is greater than x minus 1 which implies that 2 root fx minus 2 root f1 is greater than x minus 1 which implies that root fx is greater than root f1 plus x minus 1 by 2 for all x greater than equals to 1 see here this is possible if x is greater than equals to 1 because uh, we are integrating this is the upper limit and this is the lower uh, bound for the integration also notice that why is this possible since it is given that f as x is continuous at every x belongs to the real number so because of the continuity, we integrated this thing and we assumed y to be a continuous function or yeah. So uh, this is how this is the conclusion we have already drawn here. And this is how this problem is solved. Thank you and have a nice day.